Hey guys, this Crypto Marishi does it all, a little bit of everything. I am going to give you the definition of Shanghai. We have heard a lot about Shanghai update, which is the reason why if hit $2,000, which is amazing to see. It's been a long time since we have seen ETH at two grand. So Shanghai is a hard forking upgrade to Ethereum that will complete the network's transition from proof of work, POW to proof of stake, POS. Investors are worried the ability to withdraw stake ETH could have a negative impact on the price over the short term. What I have heard some of the YouTubers too, not financial advice, they sell a lot of the ETH thinking the price was gonna fall down but so far I have not seen any price going down, it's going up. So that's what I'm telling you. Sometimes you don't know how the market is going to react, you know? If you think people are gonna sell, that's gonna be some kind of drop in the sell. You go sell and then it goes up instead of going down, you're missing out. If you were to hold on and they sell and you did not get profit, somehow you might be losing. So at the end of the day, you just have to kind of try to calculate where it's going what gonna happen and what i can see bitcoin and ethereum once they are doing amazing all coins supposed to follow but i have not seen that yet some of the meme coins all coin are doing okay but not as well as we expected to see them flying off the air just like bitcoin hitting thirty one thousand, ethereum hit two thousand plus it's like whoa this is amazing this is great but we don't see what we're really supposed to be seeing right now four things to know about ethereum shanghai upgrade let's see crypto watchers are setting their sights on ethereum this week as the currency undergoes as upgrade that some think could have a negative impact on the price of the coin at least in the short term shanghai is an ethereum upgrade that is scheduled to activate on wednesday most notably it will enable those who have previously staked the ETH on the network to make withdrawals for the first time which some market commentators say could have negative implications for the ETH price going forward the upgrade also includes the implementations of five different ethereum improvement proposals okay other technical improvements and the shanghai upgrade are intended to improve the transactional aspects of ethereum here are four things to know about ethereum shanghai upgrade and how it will impact the ethereum ecosystem Final, uh, finalization of the move to proof of stake shanghai is the final step and Ethereum's move from proof of work POW to proof of stake POS consensus mechanisms proof of stake is considered a more energy efficient way for verifying cryptocurrencies transactions where validators are randomly selected based on the stake if as opposed to all validators competing to verify blocks first and proof of work ethereum started as a pow network but it's pos based on beacon chain which ran along the live pow blockchain was first launched in december 2020 and a merger between those two chain known as the merge took place in september 2022 while ethereum users have been able to stake the eth since the launch of the beacon chain they have not been able to unstake the ETH. the shanghai update change changes that in the form of eip 4895 and finalizes this transaction to pos okay investors worry about stake ETH coming to market the ability to unstake if and they associated staking reward earn so far has some investors worried as it could enable many users who were previously unable to sell their staked ETH 
to dump their holdings on the market. Currently, roughly 15% of the total ETH supply is staked on the network. According to a report from Coinbase, as much as 2.4 billion worth of selling pressure could hit the ETH market as a result of Shanghai. That said, it should be noted that all of this stake ETH cannot be unstaked all at once. There is a limit to the amount of staking withdrawals that can take place per block and one February estimate from end to the block points out it would take around 60 days for 20% of validators stakers on the network to unstake their ETH. Crypto's environmental impact debate and focus Shanghai's completion of Ethereum's transition to POS also brings up crypto's ongoing debate about its potential environmental impact. POW requires miners to prove their real reliability to the network through the use of the computer hardware, while POS opts for an approach involving the staking of a crypto asset for this reason pow uses much more energy than pos pos per minute no pos proponents often refer to pow as wasteful while proponents of pow which is used in bitcoin and is unlikely to be we move from that crypto network view POS as less secure and prone to centralization. Central, centralization. Technical upgrades for Ethereum transactions. Of course, the ability to unstake ETH is not the only change included in the Shanghai hard, work, hard fork. For example, there is also EIP 3651 eip 3855 and eip 3860 which are all intended to improve the efficiency of transaction on the ethereum network and lower gas fee for various decentralized applications dApps. it should also be noted that there are a number of census consensus layer changes included in wednesday's hard fork in the form of an upgrade known as Capella. For this reason, many Ethereum developers are referring to the combination of these two upgrades as Chapella, a combination of Shanghai and Capella. Oh, I see. Okay. Excuse me. Well, I believe this is it on what is Shanghai, what it does. And how would it help the platform to do better? So if you have any question, go to the Google for what is Shanghai and four things to know about Ethereum Shanghai are great to educate yourself to know more about it. Thank you. Subscribe.